Welcome back to F Zero Climax. We won't be going on to the Platinum Cup just yet. No, in today's episode, we will be exploring a game mode that has unfortunately made a return from GP Legend. It's the woefully boring Zero Test mode. Yes, if you go into the Time Attack menu and select Zero Test, you will be presented with 36 different Zero Test missions. That's less than GP Legend's 48, fortunately, and since Climax is a much better game than GP Legend, this won't take nearly as long, but it's still kind of not as exciting as the main game. Oh well. I got nothing to do for the next 21 minutes, so we might as well explore this a little bit. Besides, we'll get to see a couple new machines, and I'm pretty sure after this video you'll have seen all of the machines in the game at least once, save a couple which I will use for either the Platinum Cup, the Championship Course, or the Survival Mode, which you've probably seen and are wondering what that's all about. Now, since I haven't spent nearly as much time on Climax as GP Legend, I'm unfortunately only going to be getting Bronze for the most part with a couple Silver. I think this is one of the few silver cups I'm going to get. You won second place. Yeah, there it is. You won the silver cup. Mm. I wonder why the second square on that little grid is light, uh, lit up with white instead of blue like the others. Some of them light up in white. I don't know why. And of course, in a game mode like this, I'm going to be making silly mistakes because I want to get through it so fast. You won third place. That probably could have been another silver if I hadn't you slipped like that. Cup. See, the number four square there lit up white. I don't know why. And the others don't. So, uh, since there's little to talk about for most of classes C and B... I suppose I may as well talk a little bit about what I think about F-Zero as a whole, and where it's going to go in the future. Obviously, it's been about nine years since Climax came out, and the latest F-Zero content of any kind outside of Captain Falcon's appearances in the Smash Brothers series would have to be the F-Zero minigame that's included in the Wii U game Nintendo Land. I do not possess a Wii U qu quite yet. I don't think it's going to be worth buying until either Smash Brothers or that Fire Emblem crossover with Shin Megami Tensei comes out. And no, I wouldn't buy it for an HD remake of Wind Waker either. So, but I have seen a video of the Nintendo Land F Zero minigame, and I don't think it's really worth playing because it's so slow. <laughs> Oh, that was a silly little bump in the road to make right there. Uh, anyways, at the very least, F-Zero's appearance in Nintendo Land gives me hope for the future. They still know F-Zero exists. Now, I've heard that one of the reasons that they're not going to come out with another game for a while is that be is because Climax and especially F-Zero GM GX were just so awesome and cool and amazing and Technicolor that it's going to be difficult for them to top that. Like, what can we do to make the F-Zero experience better or at least the very least different? And it's interesting to me that Nintendo would actually think about something like that because uh, we all know that the Mario games have been the same for the past decade or so with the new Super Mario Brothers series reusing the same music over and over again, but I digress. So I suppose if they come up with a new idea, then that'll be interesting to see. Because it will mean they wanted to make an F-Zero game that's really truly different, so we'll have to wait on that. But I do hope a new game comes out soon. Because I miss the experience of just racing at such a high speed for the first time. Well, you can't really have a first time experience ever again, but... Uh, anyways, 
Here's where I started to actually lose, as in not make it within the time limit, because I am so not used to the Golden Fox at all. It, it, um, actually accelerates really quickly, so getting a rocket start with it is kind of annoying. Wonderful. You might have seen me comment on that before. Gosh, much of Zero Test is just so samey. Like, we've seen this before, guys. Way back in GP Legend. Ah, Slalom, I remember that Nintendo game on the NES. <laughs> Come to think of it, wouldn't Slalom better fit a White Land course? Oh well. You won third place. You won the Bronze Cup. I have also heard that apparently Shigeru Miyamoto, the big wig of Nintendo, pretty much, does not like F Zero GX. I have no idea why he wouldn't like GX. Maybe it's because Sega made it. Ha <laughs> ha! Burn. <laughs> Uh. Speaking of Sega, it's amazing to me that they would make such a wonderful F-Zero game and muck up Sonic for a little while until Generations came out. Oh well. This is an interesting stage because it has me using the worst machine in the game. It's Mr. EAD! Whose machine stats are in fact EAD. I don't know if anyone noticed that before. <laughs> Probably not, because I never used him. Ah, here's the original Silence Nightmare course. And let's see... The quote-unquote shortcut that I used in Nightmare 1... I have no idea what you would name a sequel course, quote-unquote. I just don't know why you would call the second course Nightmare 1. But then again, the Xbox One exists. <laughs> so, that's pretty hilarious in hindsight, in fact. I did not come up with that until just now. Hope you enjoyed the Port Town music because the race is already over. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll think of some interesting commentary soon, I swear. Maybe I should just skip this mode entirely. It's not even worth doing. You don't even unlock anything, as I said. And you might have noticed at the beginning of the video, this save file only has one of the Zero Test missions actually completed. It only had one of the missions completed, so the guy didn't bother with Zero Test at all, and he didn't really need to. You won third place. You won the Bronze Cup. I suppose I should mention it will get a little interesting once we're out of Class B. Well, they had the audacity to give me the Wonder Wasp, which is still blue. Remind me again when the Wonder Wasp has ever been blue. You won third place. You won the Bronze Cup. Finally, we have Big Blue Single Course. They're getting more and more unimaginative with these names, I swear. This should allow us to listen to the amazing Big Blue Remix. Well, assuming I'm not talking over it, of course. I also think they could have switched it up a little, like giving us a boost fire. And like telling it, and requiring its use. I don't know, I think that would have been a little interesting. You won third place! Alright, we're into Class A, so things are going to get a little tricky, but first, of course, I've already played. Three, two, one. 
Oh, and since I'm using the Moon Shadow, it's worth noting that they refer to Haruka by her alias instead of her real name in this game. So it's no longer a quote-unquote spoiler. Yeah. That still was not a spoiler by any means. Everyone saw that one coming. You won the Bronze Cup. Ah, here's an interesting one. You'll notice that we're using a weird machine. Well, not really that weird. It's an orange death anchor. This is called the Soldier Anchor. It's a machine that is used by Zoda's lackeys, basically. And it's it looks like a death anchor to show that they're his lackeys. And it's recolored because obviously orange is not as tough as blue. Oh, well. Depending on your preference, you might actually prefer the Soldier Anchor over the Death Anchor, which is pretty weird. It has B and Boost and Grip, compared to the original Death Anchor, which had a C in Grip. And it's also got a tiny bit of a better body. But you never know. It might be just Zoda wanting to give his minions better standard issue machines. Oh well. Uh, this mission is, is set in Lightning Lost Landing, of course, so you've always got to take that path because it's the shortest, Wonderful. to my knowledge. It goes around the inside of the course, so it probably would be the shortest. You won the bronze cup. Of course, if I stare at that map long enough, I might be able to point out a shortcut. And hey, this is the first course that will be seen later on in the Platinum Cup. Uh, as before the Platinum Cup, is a quote-unquote nostalgia series. You can see that this rendition of Port Town 2 is kind of similar, but there's actually a part of the course that is completely different now. And that's a, th and that's a theme that's going to be going on in the Platinum Cup. Like, all of the courses are remixed instead of straight-up ports. More on that in a little bit, as we'll be getting to other... Platinum Cup courses in Zero Test. This one was annoying because I had to use the Crazy Bear. The Crazy Bear has got to be the worst machine in the whole series, to be honest. Its grip is terrible. Like, I'm pretty sure if F were an uh, acceptable low letter grade, they only go all the way to E normally. But I'm pretty sure if F were an acceptable letter grade, the Crazy Bear would have an F in grip. And goody, more of that death wind throwback goodness. I'm surprised they don't let you use this mechanic on the custom courses. It's just for this one specific course that they have this wind mechanic. Oh well. You won third place. Cup. Yet another bronze cup for my collection. They'd be better off using bronze for I don't know weapons or something, but no trophies are are take, taking priority here. And this mission is a little weird because it starts you on top of a dash blade as soon as the race begins. Uh, that's pretty strange. I wonder what happened if you failed to get a rocket start. Oh well. You won the bronze cup. Probably resulted in no speed loss at all. And and um, as you will see in the Platinum Cup later on, instead of Red Canyon 1, they brought back Red Canyon 2 from Super Nintendo F-Zero. Unfortunately, they decided to use the Red Canyon theme from F-Zero X instead of the Super Nintendo F-Zero's theme. Yeah! Like, I got nothing against F-Zero X's music, but I like the original Red Canyon theme so much better. Oh well. It's a little more interesting than Red Canyon 1, that's for sure. Of course, you don't even need the... You don't even need that jump plate that, that jump plate that's shaped like an arrow anymore. You don't need to bounce on it anymore because you just fly straight over it because the course is smaller than usual. 
As for this White Land course, I'm pretty sure either path will be equally fast. Although the left path does seem to be a bit better for speed here. Of course, not bumping into the walls helps. Wonderful. You won third place. You won the bronze cup. And now for the final nine missions, and I actually believe I lost at least once on all nine of them. Nightmare won once again. And we're using the Night Thunder, which means I have in fact used the Night Thunder in every single F-Zero game it appears in so far. Uh, even though you're forced to use it in Zero Test Mode. <laughs> and no, I never used the Night Thunder in GX, but I used a custom vehicle with Silver Neeson, so that helps. One down, eight to go. Next is... Ooh, it's Silence. That is a lie. This is not Silence 2 from BSF0. This is just Silence 1 with a change in the course. A slight change. Though I do appreciate the use of the original Silence's music. Again, I have nothing on F0X's beautiful Silence theme but I don't like how it sounds on Game you Boy Advance. You won the bronze cup. Ugh, but White Land 2? White Land 2 is unchanged, but they're using F-Zero X's version of White Land's theme instead of the, the one from the Super Nintendo. Come on, you guys! I get it, F-Zero X was cool. You know what else was cool? Maximum Velocity. <laughs> I don't know where I was going there. My point is, they made a silly decision as far as the music goes. It makes you wonder why they don't bring back the Maximum Velocity courses. It's like they want to pretend the game doesn't exist. I mean, there's absolutely no reference to it at all outside of... I think that timeline they included in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And, uh... Even then, you can't really call that a reference. That's just listing for historical accuracy. Oh well. We'll see a Jet Vermilion cameo in the next Death Zero game, I hope. Ah, another new machine. Finally, something to talk about. <laughs> oh no, Fire Field! And it's completely unchanged. Oh well, could have been worse. This is the Hyper Death Anchor. It's an upgraded version of Zoda's Death Anchor, and Zoda even has an upgraded form, basically, to go with it. I suppose I'll definitely have to use this for either the Platinum Cup or one of the survival modes, so you can see the hilarious new portrait he got to go with it. Not that it's much of an improvement, because the grip went down, and the body only went up to C. Not helping there, Zoda. Not helping at all. Here's a here's a stage that I found tricky because of the landmines. You want to hit the mines for the speed boost, but you don't want to hit them because you'll lose life. Though I'd say that was a pretty smooth run. It was a pretty smooth run for the course, I'd say. You won third place. Oh, Dragon Bird on Mute City, once again. I can't tell if this is Rick Wheeler's uh, version of the Dragon Bird or Clank Hughes's. Oh well. And you know, they could have stuck with Climax's remix of Mute City for this course. I mean, GP Legend version wasn't exactly very thrilling at all. Well, I suppose when we get to the Platinum Cup, we'll have to do something about the music. Yes, I know just the thing. You won third place. You won the Bronze Cup. Two more to go. 
First up is Sand Ocean with a Fire Stingray. Ah. I remember the Fire Stingray being annoying back in Super Nintendo F-Zero, always slamming me off the course. Always bashing me when I'm about to win the race. Yeah, good times. Of course, I suppose when you play a racing game, everyone starts to get that one machine that basically turns it into their rival. That, that is always out to get them, basically. For me, it was the Golden Fox. Throughout the entire series. Final course is... Unimaginatively... Illusion with the Black Bull. Just like GP Legend. And it's not even that difficult anymore because the Black Bull is not the crazy bear. I mean, using the Black Bull in GP Legend was just awful because the controls stank. But here, it's not so bad. Of course, I imagine if you're going for a gold cup, you have to get a little risky every now and again. Still, that will be that will close down zero test. Uh, probably the most boring part of F-Zero Climax, so I'm glad I got that out of the way. Next up will either be the Platinum Cup or the Survival Modes. I'm not sure which one I should go to first quite yet. I suppose it doesn't really matter in the long run. See you next time.